everyone, I'm Red Herring and this is my What I Wore This Month for the month of December 2015. I'm still in Arizona with my mom. Her surgery went well. She had a little bit of breathing um, issues when she was in recovery, but that is all under control now. Um, and we are back at her house. Her post-op appointment um, isn't until January 7th, so next Thursday. Um, at the time of this video next Thursday and I'll know better then when I might be um, going home. Like I said in my previous video I only um, got a one-way ticket. Again I'm very sorry to those of you who sent me requests. I wasn't able to fill them while I was away from home. Um, I didn't bring all of my cups with me. It was actually one of the last things on my mind. I only grabbed one cup um, when I was packing and my husband was the one that actually said only one so I grabbed a, a few more to bring with me um, and I'll share with those uh, those with you today but I did want to give a big shout out and um, send much aloha to Jennifer Lewis one of my fellow vloggers and friends who uh, was able to pick up one of the videos for me and she did a um, comparison and review about um, a few cups that were questioned about. Make sure you check out her channel. She has a lot of great information, um, good videos, a lo lot of great points, details, and whatnot. And uh, if you send her a message or comment on her videos, she's really quick to get back to you. So um, make sure you subscribe to her. Um, and let's get on with what cups I brought. So I started spotting and um, I grabbed for my first cup that I was going to try. And I say try because it is the Tulip Cup. Um, and I had never tried this cup before. I got it a while ago um, and it is from Russia. Uh, I did a unboxing and an unboxing video, and um, my files ended up getting corrupted, and I never did another one because I just didn't. I don't know. Uh, I had already opened it and whatnot, and I it wasn't a true unboxing, but I I just never went back and did another video um, again, and I hadn't even done a an information video for this. I did an information card um, getting ready to do a video for it but I didn't get to it. Um, so I did want to try it and because it was the first time I was using it I uh, used the punch down fold. I think I used this for four nights and I'm really sorry I didn't keep up with Clue um, this this period just because I wasn't so much on uh, a schedule so I didn't like go on my tablet and and mark down everything um, but I think I used it for three or four nights and um, it opened just fine I didn't have any problems getting it inserted uh, my only issue that I did have with it was when I inserted a finger to make sure that the cup was completely open and that the rim was around my cervix is these petals, these tulip petals that are all the way around the cup would kind of give me some um, resistance. So like I would slide my finger over it, which it didn't slide very easily. Um, you can see that it's kind of grippy here and my finger moves kind of slowly over it. So um, when I got to the next petal, my finger would have some resistance and I would have to push a little harder to get around that, that next petal. But other than that, I mean, it was fine. It didn't take me a whole bunch of extra time to, to, to double check that this cup was um, how where it needed to be and if it was completely open so um, it was fine. I really like the tulip um, pattern on it. It's cute and again that is kind of a grippy um, finish on it. Can you see it? It's like focusing on my face. So um, really easy to handle since those are grippy, I mean, it doesn't feel like my fingers are going to slide off of it. And I will do a review or a information video about this later on when I do get home. Um, I left my stem intact. 
as you can see and I didn't have any problems with that. This cup is really similar to the Lunette cup um, but the tab on it or the stem on this which is a tab style stem um, it is nice and stretchy it has some stopping or it has resistance it stops right about there so it doesn't continue to pull outside of your body when your cup is stuck inside of you still or sealed inside of you it's flimsy all the way around and even though it is a solid piece sorry stuttered there um, it, it does squish down it keeps like turning but there it does squish down so it's it's not hard like the um, lunette is and if I were to keep this cup um, I would probably go ahead and cut it off but it didn't really bother bother me it was just kind of a telltale sign that I had a cup in um, and that was the only thing about the stem that that I, I had an issue with and the only reason why I would cut it off is just so that I didn't know that I had a cup in um, if I sat a certain way or something but it didn't bother me one bit um, and I didn't have any leaks, no extra cramping or anything, nice and comfortable. I would say that this cup is probably on the high end of my medium firmness or the low end of my firmer cups. So it, it's a good firmness, good resistance um, that it would pop open easily. And you can see that it has a secondary rim, um, but then the petals go over that. And there are four holes on it, evenly spaced, not too, too big, about a medium hole. But I'll go through that when I do an actual um, review or information video of this cup. So the next cup that I used was my Super Jenny. These are the two cups that I originally packed with me until my husband asked me if I was an if I was only bringing one cup. Um, I didn't use the small during this period so I'm just gonna put it on the side. Um, I did end up using the large um, the day that my mom had her surgery which I'm pretty sure was on it was on the 23rd so that I think that was a Wednesday. Um, so I put this in the night before and her surgery was first thing in the morning so I didn't empty it when uh, or right before we left I was kind of running late that morning and um, so I used it while I was at, at the, the airport at the uh, hospital because I, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to empty it um, and I didn't want to have to worry about that so when I showered I the night before I emptied it and that was probably around one o'clock when I showered and so I knew it was going to be fine for me to wear until I got home or got back home and um, I just I knew that I needed something I wasn't going to have to worry about if I was going to leak or if it was going to be uncomfortable um, that it had a good capacity uh, to hold or last me for that whole duration during uh, the surgery so um, I can't ever say enough about the Super Jenny. I love this cup. It is, I have to say, my number one cup. This would be my Goldilocks cup. If they made an ombre of this cup with green and blue, I'd be done. I wouldn't buy any more cups. So, um, Jessica, don't, don't ombre your cups or I'm done. <laughs> um, and I had ordered the blue Super Jenny uh, before Christmas because they had a sale if you missed it I hope you didn't miss it but it is going on on until December 31st and I I'm gonna try to put out this video today um, so from today you'll have two two days to order this cup and I'll go ahead and leave the the um, the code in the description below just in case it's still uh, available when this video is put out but I hope you can get it they have two um, blues 
uh, a light blue and a dark blue. The dark blue is the, the blue that I got. I'll probably get the lighter blue later on because I love the blues. Um, and it's more of an aqua. The lighter blue looks more of an aqua, and I love aquas. Aquas are my favorite colors. So um, I'll probably get that one later on, and then I can do a comparison between the two. I'm sure they're going to have more colors later, but the blues were the first ones to be introduced. Um, if you have questions about this green one, or if you're wondering about this green one, it was a special edition only given out to um, those who bought the Super Jenny when they first launched. It was a thank you for... Um, like being one of the first 50, I think, um, people that ordered the original Super Jenny, they sent these out as a thank you. So you cannot purchase this green color from them. And it's more of a lime green than it shows on camera. Uh, in person, it looks completely different than what I see on my tablet right now. So um, I'm sorry, but you can't pick these ones up. I'm sure they'll have a green, I, I mean, well, I'm not sure, but they'll probably have some green, but it probably won't be this particular green. Um, so I waited for my blue Super Jenny to arrive, and when that got here, I wanted to sterilize it and take pictures of it against my um, green Super Jenny. If you had seen my post on my Facebook page, which is Krabby Patties, it's also in the description. Um, and I'll try to leave one here, so I'll move on the side. Oh, look, there's a light here. Look, I'm Scar. Um, I'll try to leave a picture here, so I'm going to move on the side. And if I don't, I'm very sorry. I'm just, I just want to film off to the side here. Awkward. Um, but uh, so when I was waiting for all of that uh, and taking pictures and whatnot, I used my Eva cup. And this, this was my favorite cup for a long time and it only got bumped by the Super Jenny. Uh, so this is still my second favorite cup and the Super Jenny would be my first and I would only pick the Super Jenny over the Eva cup because of the capacity. However, the comfort of this cup, the ease of opening and everything, uh, it, it compares nicely with the Super Jenny. Um, I don't have any issues with it. I never had. I have to empty this cup um, one extra time than the Super Jenny, and that's the only reason why the Super Jenny gets um, the no number one spot instead of the Eva cup. But I do really still love this cup. Um, and I'm sorry that I can't show you my blue Super Jenny because it is being used right now. So those are my three cups that I ended up using for the month of December. And I'm still spotting a little bit. I think my period is done, but I just, you know, just, uh, just want to have that, uh, that protection. I did bring some reusable pads, but I didn't feel like using them. I hate having to use reusable pads. Um, I don't know. I just don't. I don't want to use it. I know I can use a cup, so I use a cup. So, also I wanted to talk about um, the airport. So, I had seen several people ask about using a menstrual cup at the airport. And while I didn't use one at the airport when I flew out here, I will um, make a note to use one when I go back home. Um, my family usually ends up going through the provision. Um, I don't know if you noticed that my Hawaiian bracelets uh, that I have on in some of the videos, they always set off the, the metal detectors. And my son will, um, or he has a knee brace because he had a football injury and had surgery. And instead of carrying his brace, he just wears it. And so those always set off the the detectors, and so they just automatically send my whole family to the provisions. Um, so I will use a cup while I'm going through that, 
and I will use a cup while I'm on the plane because I've uh, seen people ask, can you feel it? The pressure, is there, you know, an extra pressure because you're in the cabin and all that. So I'll make notes on if I notice any changes, any different feelings, any sensations, um, any pressure while I'm using a menstrual cup on the plane. And I'll let you know in the, you know, the video that I put out when I get home, um, but I'll try to make that a priority video uh, to answer your question about that or those questions about that. Um, I hope you guys all had a really nice holidays with loved ones, your friends, family, whoever, um, and I hope you have a happy new year, and until I see you next time, take care. Side note, does anybody else insert their cup in to the bag like uh, they're inserting it into their vaginas. I don't normally use my bags um, because at home I just kind of throw all of my cups into a box. I have so many of them uh, that I found that when now that I'm using a bag while I'm out, I, I actually fold my cup to insert it into their bags. I don't know. It just kind of makes it easier for me now that I think about it. Uh, what do you do? Do you stick them in this way or do you stick them in this, in this way? Uh, strange, but just kind of curious. Let me know in the comments. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.